Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. This is a problem on mesh analysis. So by using mesh analysis, how can you find current I1 and I2 in the given circuit? So we can observe carefully, in the circuit there are two loops are there. So this is one loop and this is another loop. So first of all, what is mesh analysis? So in the mesh analysis, nothing but loop analysis. So in this, we are going to use KVL theorem. So according to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to IR. This is Ohm's law. So in KVL, sum of all voltage drops equal to source voltage in a loop. So like that, we are going to apply Ohm's law at every load, what is the voltage drop equal to source voltage. Let's see here. In the first loop, there are two resistors are there and one voltage source is there. So in this loop, the current was given like this. I1 source, I1 current is there. Now the source voltage is 12 volts. This 12 volts is equal to the volt sum of voltage drops in this loop. Here voltage drop is there, here voltage drop is there. So what is the voltage drop across the ohms? In this resistor, the current is I1 passing. That means upper ohms are V equal to IR. So in this, the voltage drop is equal to the current passing through in this resistor product with 3 ohms. That is 3 into I1. Plus, now in this resistor, what is the voltage drop? First of all, find what is the current. So this is I1 was entering and here I2 was entering like this. So the difference between I1 and I2 into 8 ohms. This is the voltage drop in 8 ohm resistor. So totally 12 volts is equal to the voltage drop across 3 ohms. This is 3 I1. The voltage drop across 8 ohms is I1 minus I2 into H. So from this, you will get one equation. So simplify it. 12 volts equal to 3 I1 plus 8 I1 minus 8 I2. That's equal to 11 I1 minus 8 I2 equal to 2 R. So let consider this is equation 1. Now come to second loop. So here two resistors are there, one dependent voltage source is there. So in the dependent voltage source, all the voltage was given that is 2V notch. Now we need to find the voltage drop at 6 ohms and we already know that how to find voltage drop at 8 ohms in the previous loop. So in 6 ohms the current was passing that is I2. So according to Ohm's law we know that V equal to IR. So in that 6 ohm resistor the voltage drop is the current of passing that is I2. So I2 into 6 this is the voltage drop in 6 ohms plus if the voltage is 2 V naught plus in this 8 ohms the current I1 was entering here. Here the current I2 was entering here. So the difference between I1 minus I2 into H. It is the voltage drop across 8 ohms. Here there is no independent voltage source. That's why some of all voltage source in this loop is equal to 0. Now from this we will get 6 I2 plus 2 V0 plus 8 I1 minus 8 I2 that's equal to 0. So 2 V0 plus 8 I1 6 I2 minus 8 I2 nothing but minus 2 I2 that's equal to 0. So here V0 is there. How can you write in the current? So here V0 means the voltage drop across 3 ohms. It was already given in the circuit. Across 3 ohms whatever the voltage drop that is a V0. Okay. So write the voltage uh, KVL uh, equation that means voltage drop, uh, Ohm's law equation here that is V0 equal to the current I1 passing in this resistor that is I1 into resistance is 3 according to Ohm's law that means 3 I1 is the voltage drop across 3 ohm that is V0 now substitute this value to be here that is 2 into 3 I1 plus 8 I1 minus 2 I2 that's equal to 0. Now from this we will get so 3 to 6, 6 I1 plus 8 I1 nothing but 14 I1 minus 2 I2 that's equal to 0. So this is the second equation. Now second equation and first equation are in terms of I1 and I2. 
now we can easily find i1 and i2 if you observe carefully here in the second equation so here i1 i2 is there there is no constant values so from this we can easily get i1 i2 relation so that is 14 i1 equal to so bring this term to the right hand side it becomes 2 i2 so 2 ones 2 sevens that means i2 equal to 7 i1 so this is the i1 i2 relation now substitute i2 value as 7 i1 in equation 1 it becomes 2 all equal to so i2 equal to 7 i1 11 i1 keep as it is minus 8 into i2 means we got 7 i1 substitute here that is 7 i1 this is 11 i1 so 2 all equal to 11 i1 minus 78 means 56 i1 so from here 2 all equal to 11 minus 6 is nothing but minus 45 i1 so from this we get i1 equal to 2 all by minus 45 by simple this we get i1 equal to 0.2666 this is the i1 value now how can you find i2 value so we know that i t equal to 7 times of i1 means i2 equal to 7 times of i1 that means 7 into so i1 we got this is that is 0.2666 by using calculator we get i2 equal to 1.8666 so this is the i t value and this is the i1 value so these are the currents which was in the given circuit and this is the process of simplifying mesh analysis thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks